Hey, what is going on everybody? It is Rob, aka The Diligent Dev, and welcome to episode four of View in Five Minutes, where I try to distill view concepts in as little as five minutes. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the view router, so let's jump over to the computer and get right into it. Okay, so here we are at our View5min project we created in episode one. If you don't know how to create a view project, I would highly suggest you go back and watch that and I will leave a link in the description and a link on the screen right now. Now, when we tell the view CLI to include the router inside of our project, it puts it at path SRC router index.js. Up here at the top, you'll see we're importing view, we're importing the view router, and then we're also importing a component name home. We're telling Vue to use the Vue router as a plugin on the next line, and then we're specifying our routes. So you'll see up here at the top, this is a basic way to specify your routes. If a user landed on forward slash, which is our home page, they will view the home component. If they land on slash about, they will view the about component, but this is doing something a little bit differently. It's using root level code splitting, and essentially what that means is it's only loading this component when the root is visited, as opposed to when the application is loaded inside of the browser. Below that, we're instantiating our view router. We're setting the mode to history to get rid of the hash in the URL. We're passing it our base path, and then we're passing it our routes and exporting it as the final line in this file. In order to use our router inside of our view application, we import it into our main.js file, and then we pass it to our instance of view. We see that our instance of view is rendered in our app.view file that we imported here at the top, and it's looking for something with an ID of app. So if we head over to app.view, you'll see that we have our div with an ID of app, and inside of that we have something called a router view. Now this router view is where our components that we specify in our routes will be loaded. So what the router view does is it looks at the path in the URL and then determines which component to display. Now above our router view, we have our navigation. And this will stay the same on every single page because the only thing that changes is our router view. Inside of our navigation, we have these things called router links. And these are essentially anchor tags that we use to navigate around our view application. Now the reason we use these as opposed to anchor tags is because they do not reload the page when a user clicks on them. Therefore keeping us inside of our single page application. So you'll see they have a property on them and the property is two. You can either specify a string here with the path that you want to take them to, or you can specify an object with a property of name. And where I got that from is inside of our router, we have named each route. So in order to see this in action, let's go ahead and spin up a development server. In order to do this, let's open up a new terminal and run the following command, npm run serve. Okay, so we spun up our development server. It's at localhost 8080, and you'll see in our app.view, we have our navigation up top, which will display on every single page. Then we have our router view, and since we are on the home route, we're going to see the home component here. If we were to click on this and go to the forward slash about route, we're going to see the about component. Now let's say we wanted to navigate somewhere programmatically. In order to do this, we will put our script tag down here with our export defaults. Inside of it, we'll put our methods property, and we'll create a method called nav to home. And when this method is fired, we will say this dot router dot push. And we will push it to our home route. And then up here at the top, we'll create a button. We'll say nav to home. And we will bind to the click property of this button. And when it's click, we will fire our nav to home method. And we'll go ahead and save this. And we'll see I have the button now. And if we click on the button, it takes us back to our home page. Now, another very common thing to do is pass props in our URL. So in order to do this, we're going to go back to our router. I'm going to copy the about path and paste it below. And then we're going to say forward slash colon id and we're going to save this and then we'll head back to our about component and inside of our about component i will do some text interpolation and we will say dollar sign root dot params dot id i'm going to go ahead and save this we will navigate to our about you'll see there's nothing there but when we specify a forward slash and a one, 
you'll see that now our ID passes through to our component. And we can specify anything we'd like here, and you'll see it'll flow into our component. So this is gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this tutorial. Obviously there was a lot more that I could cover, but I'm approaching that five minute mark and I really wanna keep these videos to five minutes. So if you got any value out of this, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, drop a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, happy coding.